What role does truth play in our quest for vibrational alignment? It's being true to yourself because your inner being knows what you've lived and what you're asking for and has literally become the you that you want to be. And so when you are following that path of feeling good so that your bag of marbles, so to speak, is matching you, that's as true as it can be. When Esther first met us, she was really excited, didn't understand much about any of this, but she was excited and she said, oh good, now I can tell who's lying. <laughs> because Abraham will always know the truth. Well, if diversity is a good thing and everyone gets to choose for themselves, then isn't it logical to you that there's not some arbitrator in the sky that's saying, well, that's a right thing for you to want, but that's a wrong thing for you to want. It isn't like that. It's being true to yourself. It's being in alignment with all that you are. And you can tell, you feel the resonance of it. Sometimes you feel the goosebumps all over your body. You feel the clarity of it. And it just keeps evolving and evolving. But don't pit yourself against others who believe differently than you do or who want differently. We really want you to get it that this time-space reality is big enough for everyone to get what they want and for those who aren't getting what they want it's not because somebody else is getting it and depriving them of it it's because they're depriving themselves of it by pushing against whatever it is so there isn't a truth like that there's not an unequivocal truth have you ever been in a situation where you were an eyewitness and other eyewitnesses saw it differently you can't see beyond your point of attraction you can't see beyond your beliefs and it has to be all right for all of it to exist simultaneously that's another thing that we want you to take away from this don't need others to give up their truths in order for you to have yours they can have theirs and you can have yours even though they seem like opposite things so what if your what if your belief is in something that's untrue universally that's been taught like or, what? Uh, well the earth is round or the or the people landed on the moon or you know there's a lot of people out there who might think one thing or or were taught uh, certain things in history or science or astrology or whatever the subject is well how about giving everyone we're talking about those who've lived before especially how about giving everyone the right to see only as far as they can see and then step back as you evolve and being able to see more clearly you can't get into one of those satellites or rockets that are orbiting the earth without seeing what it is but when you didn't have a rocket that you could ride and see then it might have been perfectly logical for you to think that the earth was flat and that you would fall off of it until you decided that you cared enough to know that that you got in your canoe and you didn't fall off that it was 26,000 miles and then you were right back to where you started but we're making a different point with you give people the benefit of the doubt to believe whatever they choose to believe and don't ask there to be an unequivocal truth about everything that you're then going to fight over right no I guess what you're I was creating. asking was that um, if you believe so, if you believe something different from what we're taught or is universally known to be a truth how do you uh, exist in this three in this time space reality By minding your own business and keeping your mouth yeah. shut okay. and <laughs> focusing on what you want and letting right. the law of attraction bring the evidence right. to you and the evidence to you and the evidence to you and the evidence to you until more and more people on the planet understand their true power wouldn't it be nice if you knew unequivocally that there's room enough for everybody here and by your living that way that in time more and more are understanding that so they're not squabbling over things that they will never stop squabbling over you find a little piece of land and you fight over it forever and ever and ever and ever really like it's the only place to be right here I'll just kill everybody that comes into my garden I'll build a wall and then a bigger 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 wall and, a bigger wall. and that bugger over there now he's climbing over my wall now he's trying to get in anyway 
you know what happens is the truth oh hang on while Esther gets herself back together because this is big the truth of your blessed loving worthiness will always win it just will people with all of their disagreements will croak and they will find a different perspective and they will immediately have all of those answers to all of those questions that they've been asking and then they will come again and have another physical experience and they will ask different questions or more questions it's where we started earlier isn't it it's such a big thing if you care about alignment with what is truth and what is it let's not call truth property borders or scientific facts let's call truth love let's just call it the first manifestation of aligning with it when you align with the whole of who you are and there's not a particle of resistance within you you feel that love you have that knowing so if that's what you're using for your guidance system then from that aligned position things that didn't make sense to you will and things that weren't obvious to you will be more obvious to you but don't ask to do it all at once let yourself be the evolving ever-changing beings that you are don't make it about right or wrong that's where we started to go with you just now as you're aligning with the truth of who you are which is what we meant by calibrating to your inner being rather than being so much wanting to be right and make somebody else wrong in your physical form which is what calibrating to humans is let's get together and everybody that agrees with this let's go over here in this one big pile but would you come with us just for a minute to the aerial view of your piles it's gonna make you laugh because they're so full of so many different things I'm gonna talk about Spurs because of San Antonio but <sighs> Go to the Maverick game and join with your Maverick fans and put them all in one big clump. And then notice there's Republicans and Democrats both in there. Yikes. <laughs> and there's Jews and Baptists and Mormons. So how are you going to sort this out? What pile are you going to put them in? And we say you don't get to put them in the piles you just get to activate within you who you are and what you love and what you want and what you want to experience and the law of attraction will bring that to you and the law of attraction will not say oh you don't get to get that if you're a vibrational match to it you're gonna get it whether you want it or not if you're a vibrational match to it you're gonna get it whether you want it or not so humans are running all over the planet trying to segment themselves in clusters in yards away from the things that they don't want while they've got an active law of attraction that's calling in the things that they don't want and then when they're calling in things that they don't want because they don't have control of their point of attraction because they're trying to think their way to it they're trying to be right about this and right about that instead of in alignment with their truth which is love then you make yourself nuts have you noticed what happens to many of you getting a little strong here a lot of asking like never before one of the best things about the bigness of the numbers of you and the diversity of your desires and beliefs is that in time usually you have to move through a little time you begin to accept the impossibility of forcing them to agree with you your diversity is your greatest power because no matter how hard you try you're not gonna get them to agree with you and so after a while being right becomes less important to you because they're not gonna agree with you that you're right and no matter how stubbornly you are sure that you are right they're still not gonna agree with you and if you get really sure if you get really determined to make them understand that you are right they'll kill you that's the logical thing isn't it just get rid of anybody that opposes us until there's a lot of that going on where think how free you could be today if instead of being right you decided I'm gonna find truth <laughs> true truth which is not about all that stuff it's about aligning with source energy aligning with 
that highest frequency vibration of love and then watch what happens when you and your inner being join forces from that vibration of well-being and then as you move through your world and you give more and more the benefit of that first it starts with those that are up close to you and then those that are around you it gets better in your relationships your lovers get better relationships with you your children you have better relationships even those that have been estranged then you start getting along better with your neighbors and then you start getting along better with the people that you work with not because anybody's changing anything but because you're attracting the different pieces that you're collecting from them if they're worried about this and that and the other and it's not active in your vibration you don't rendezvous with that person about that haven't you ever had the experience when you're with a little kid and the little kid is just really an angel with you and when that same little kid is with their mother they are not a little angel <laughs> it's the same little kid it's the same little kid why is the little kid behave this way with one and that way with another it's because of the attraction that's happening between them you get these vibrational arguments and tug of wars going on and the law of attraction just demonstrates it to you over and over and over again so once you get a handle on this once you get it who you are and once you get how good who you are really feels and once you find yourself not feeling so good and then you work it around until you feel a little better or you change the subject and stay on subjects that do feel better and better until you have clarified or purified your vibration so that more and more you are a vibrational match to who you are and then you begin to watch the magic working in your life you begin to notice that things are working out for you over and over again you begin to notice that you get to point and it happens and you get to point and it happens and other people will say how do you do that and you want to say to them I'd like to tell you but I don't think you're quite ready for this because it sounds wackadoodle we know that it does but it is a law as powerful as the law of gravity and we can't give it to you from our knowing you have to teach it to yourself by finding a feeling and then watch what comes next and then finding another feeling and watch what comes next until you know for sure for sure for sure for sure that you are the attractor of your experience and that it is always matching whatever your bag of marbles is which you have complete power to modify and mold and change you've come every one of you you are uplifters and what that means is you are soothers and what a soother is is someone who just demonstrates alignment because that's the only place that soothing comes from it doesn't come from the medical world or the scientific world or the political world or the religious world it comes from alignment with the source within you that's where everything that you want comes from so how did it work you said I'll go into a diversified place and I'll sift and I'll sort and I'll define what feels best to me by knowing what I don't want and knowing what I do want and I will launch rockets of desire and my inner being who remained non physically focused will hear me and focus upon that and hold vigil so to speak on that so that at any time that I'm in the vicinity I can feel it I can feel my vibrational proximity to what I have defined and when I align with that then it is step one is you ask step two is source answers vibrationally step three is you line up with it that's it that's it so where do all the people that disagree with you come in they're over there in step one helping you define you're helping them and they're helping you and you're all launching rockets of desire and if you could get into every one of their vortices and see what they've got in there you would like 99.99% .99 of what they put there because what they want is love and upliftment and empowerment and clarity and to know their own value and for their kids to be happy in other words you're all wanting the same thing but your belief that you have to fight with others about it is what's keeping some of you from getting what you want so truth in relationship to alignment is really your inner not believing in truthful things per se the stuff over here did somebody open their car door and bang it into my car and make a big dent yes they did and that's true that happened it's true if you like this video don't forget to subscribe we'll see you in the next